one, I wanted to show you what my fourth grader um, will be doing in homeschool this year. This video is very late. It's already September. It's probably going to be October before I get it uploaded, but I still wanted to share. So hopefully you will still get something out of this. Let me show you what we're doing. So first up is social studies. And for social studies in Ohio, that's the year, fourth grade is the year you do um, Ohio history. So we purchased this Harcourt Social Studies um, Ohio edition. And um, I think we got this off of eBay, if, eBay or Amazon. I can't remember. It was super cheap, like less than $10. And um, so we're going to be working our way through this. Um, it's actually done pretty well. It's a little older. But, um, yeah, it's been done really well. So I will add in printables from Teachers Pay Teachers or projects as they go along, you know, with the topic. Let's see here. Um, so she'll do probably like in the form of notebooking or something as we work our way through this. So that is what she will be doing for social studies. Um, we also are doing geography together with my first grader and my fourth grader, and that's in a separate video, which should have been uploaded um, before this. So she also has that. Oh, and yeah, just watch that video and you'll see the other things she's doing. Okay. So for science, we are, um, okay, let me back up a little bit. So for third grade science, we found a really good fit in doing the core knowledge um, books. You can download these for free off of their website or you can purchase um, them already bound like this, the student readers. But last year we found a really good fit. We got the Core Knowledge student readers, we got the Evan Moore skill sharpeners, and then we got the, um, from Lakeshore Learning, the content standards for third grade science boxes. And it all just like almost seamlessly all fit together. This year the matchup is not as great. So what we are doing is basically for um, topics, and they are the four topics covered in the Skill Sharpeners book, which is Human Body, Shaping the Earth, um, waves, like sound waves, um, water waves, like waves in water, sound waves, digital waves, etc., and then energy. So those are the four topics we're going to do. Three of those, there was a good book from Core Knowledge, Processes That Shape the Earth, Investigating Waves, and, oops, that's a different book. Am I missing one? Investigating Waves, Processes That Shape the Earth. I'm missing one somewhere. I don't know where it went. Hold on, let me see. Here it is, Energy Transfer and Transformation. So we have books for three of the topics. The Human Body one, I will just supplement with books we have already, or I'll get some from the library. And then um, we also have the content standards kits. I'll grab those in just one second and show them to you. Um, but typically how we did this last year is we would read a chapter and then there's vocabulary um, throughout. So we would do what we would call it our word work. She had this little box. This got broken. I have to change it for this year. But she would write the vocabulary. These are from last year. She would write the vocabulary word on it and the... Um, no, she wrote precipitation wrong. Um, and then she would write the definition on the back. So um, that's kind of how we use this. We read the section, we do the word work, and then um, we can do the related pages from here and or the science experiments. So let me show you those boxes. Okay, so here are the Meet the Standards kits. This is Human Body. This is one I don't have a book for, but we do have a section in the Skill Sharpener. So Basically, the way these work, they come with these little kind of experiment, or they call them investigation cards, mm -hmm. comes with most of the stuff you need um, to do it. And then there's this connection card where there's something that they read that goes with it. Let me show you. Oh, I'm dropping stuff. I'm trying to do this in my room. I've got a messy, unmade bed in the background, but better done than perfect, right? So um, anyway, this is what the, the back of the card looks like. So it tells you what you'll need. This stuff in this particular one is all included. You have a question, you can use a dry erase marker on here to answer them. And then there's these things at the bottom. So let's see, this is number one. It also then has, 
Where is it? So it has a connection card that goes with it. Which is information you can read together. And then this particular one, I think, has another card that goes with it. It has the skeleton assembly. So it comes with all these really nice laminated cards and pieces that you'll need. It has um, this little guide that goes with it. I believe there's usually a printable, let's see, in the back, yeah. So they can do that. And then it just has all the pieces and parts in it that you'll need. So we have human body, we have energy, and we have changes in landscape. There is not a box for the investigating waves, and that's fine. We'll just do the activities in the Evan Moore. Okay, so yeah, for the investigating waves, we have a whole bunch of sections in Evan Moore. Oops, not that. Digital waves, sound waves, and waves in the water. So we will be fine without a kit for, we'd be fine without a kit for all of them, but it sure does add a lot of fun to it. So that was a really long-winded way to say what we're doing for science. I think part of the reason that these things are not quite lining up as well this year is because all three of them, I think, try to align to the next generation science standards. And I think that they're updating those. And so I think these are all in various states of those updates, perhaps. I don't know. So I'm not sure we'll do the same combo for fifth grade, but it worked fantastic for, for third grade and we're making it work for fourth grade. All right, moving on. Art. We have the hardcore art everywhere. We did do this last year. We got, we had the third grade last year. We did not do it as much as we should have, but we um, are going to try it again this year. I like it. We are going to try to just use it as open and go. Um, I tend to overcomplicate things sometimes and um, we really do better when we just don't overthink it. So <laughs> we are going to try to just, um, when we pull it out, just read the, let me show you here. So chapter four, the plan is just to read this information and do the little project that they have. And sometimes there's little extra things you can read and then it goes on to the next lesson. Okay, in addition to that, I added this for her. I got the Thinking Tree Cam Request. This is a 31 day photography challenge. We will probably not do it for 31 consecutive days because I just, I know us and that's not gonna happen. So um, you basically every day it gives you something to photograph. Day one, take a photo of a cup of tea or coffee, print the best photo and put it here, and then you answer some questions about it. And then I also got her this National Geographic Kids Book of Photography to go with it. So that will be part of our art as well. I got both of the kids this Growth Mindset Daily Practice Journal. This one that I got for Ava is for grades three to five. And... Basically, they work it each day of the week. There's a little bit to do. And each week is different. So we have that. For health, we are going to do Harcourt Health and Fitness. Again, we had the third grade version last year, and I think we took it too seriously. So we're going to try it again. This is going to be somewhat independent for her. Um, she is going to read the chapters. She's going to kind of tell me about what she read. And then we got the activity book to go along with it, which is really, really basic. But there's just like a little section that they have to fill out for each lesson. So she will do that as well. For vocab, I got um, the Scholastic Fab Vocab Greek and Latin Roots and prefixes and suffixes so we will do those this is kind of an extra and it's not quite what I thought it was going to be we may save this for Fridays or I'm not sure um she really liked her brother's smart start stem that he had last year but they didn't I don't think they made it for her grade they definitely don't make it for fourth grade I know um and so I grabbed this thinking it would be similar it's not um, really any science. I, I shouldn't say that. It's more like problem solving types of things. Um, I still think she'll like it. It's just not quite 
I think what we thought it was going to be. Um, but we're not going to use this as like our daily part of our daily work. This will be something extra if she wants to do on like Fridays or something. Um, or if it happens, there happens to be a topic that fits with something we're doing. All right, for spelling, we are doing building spelling grade four. And then in our family subjects, I showed some handwriting um, copy work for the president. She also has this cursive logic, United States Presidents and Citizens. We got this for last year and then decided to hold off till this year because we had planned to do um, presidents this year. So she has that. All right, let me put these away and I'll show you the last okay, few things. So for language arts, for my fourth grader for this year, we are trying lightning literature. It has a student workbook and um, a teacher's guide and then um, lots of uh, chapter books that you work through. So this is a list of all the books that she will read this year. I went ahead and pulled the first one, the student pages for the first one out and I just put them in this folder. So this is two weeks worth of work in here that'll take us to get through this book. I pulled this for the writing portion that she's going to do. Um, so this includes, let me show you the student, pretty much grammar, writing, literature, um, and all of that. These are the student pages. Um, but I, I'm not, I'm not positive about, um, the writing part of it, if that's enough. Um, so I did, I had already purchased this anyway, and I think we're going to go ahead and still use Essentials in Writing. We used the third grade one last year and it was fine. Um, there's a little bit more writing instruction, I guess, in this. There are writing projects in this, but I feel like there's more instruction in this. Um, but this also has grammar, but the way that this tends to work is the grammar is the first half, and then you get into the actual um, writing part, like in the second half of it. So we're going to try to do both and see if it's not too much. Hopefully it's not too much. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to do for um, literature and grammar and writing and all of that. And then I think lastly is math. So if you know last year, math was a real struggle for us. She struggled coming out of public school already um, and it just kind of carried over. We did a lot of repeat work last year. We found a great unit on number sense from, I think it's called Math Made Fun from the Moffat Girls that really, really helped her. We did, I think it was number sense to a thousand. We worked through that and that helped immensely. And then we just decided to um, go through second grade math again. We used Go Math. We got about halfway through the third grade one. It's fine. We liked it, um, but I needed a break. So we switched to teaching textbooks for, which is third grade level. And she is actually finishing that right now. When we finish that, the plan is to move to primary mathematics. This is the new one. I think it's called 2022, if I remember correctly. And they do um, 4A and 4B. And so we went ahead with 4A. As soon as she's done with teaching textbooks, we will move over to this. If this doesn't work for her, we will probably just go back to teaching textbooks. Um, but I was doing so much research for my son, um, for his math, and I really liked it. And I thought if, I'm, if I like it enough for him, I should want the same for her. So we're going to try it. Um, I think that she'll like it. I like the all the concepts. She's not really behind in math anymore. We're just, it's just taken us because we repeated so much last year. It's taking us a long time to get caught up, but her understanding seems to be pretty good. So I think that we'll be good with this. I really like the whole concept of it. They have specifically in this one, not just an educator's guide, but a home instructor's guide that has lots of great information. I can do a whole separate video on this program if you would like let me know down in the comments but I'm excited to try that but she's I would say she's about two-thirds of the way through teaching textbooks so um, we won't be starting this right away we'll wait to, for her to finish that all right I think that that's everything I haven't done a video in so long I feel like this was pretty poorly put together but you'll just have to go with it oh fair music it's that is the one thing that drops for us that when we're crazy and busy and trying to figure out how to fit everything in that we don't do. So these were purchased for previous years. We have not done them yet. 
I'm going to try them with both my kids. Um, we have the learning to play the piano for the very young, and then we have this uh, word speller music, which is learning to read music. So we're gonna try to do these together. I should have put that in our family subjects. Oh well, at any rate, that's every, that, well, that's almost everything. So I also have a handful of just random workbooks. We've got some good map skills ones. We have, we really like this reading skills workbook. Um, she's got some Evan Moore stuff. This is grade three, only because I think they don't make grade four. She really likes those um, word ladders. These are, um, the plan is that we are going to do sit down school four days a week. And then on the fifth day, um, they will have just some workbooks that they can work through some pages. Um, or it may be that we go on a field trip that day or whatever else, but that's what these are for. These are not what I consider part of our regular curriculum. I'm not gonna track whether we get through them all by the end of the year. Um, but they're things that they can take on the go or that they can do without a lot of help from me. So both kids have a stack like this that we will pull from for if we need to be out in the car one day and not at home to do school for some reason, um, we would put a pouch together with stuff like this. So I believe that is everything. I'm sorry this is so all over the place. If you have any questions, let me know down below.